Well, hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to As Above, So Below, a rune and tarot divination for Monday, the 23rd day, or excuse me, the 24th day of uh, October 2022. I, uh, missed last week i did a little video on monday telling you what was going on i i guess we i don't know what we have it's not covid uh, we still both have it um, but i'm better today uh, and so i'm going to go ahead and and i'm going to do mondays and thursdays readings ahead of time because i kind of go up and down and so on the off chance this gets worse next week which it it could. It's like one minute I seem to be doing better, the next minute I'm, I mean, I can't function at all. So I don't know what this is. If it's just an incredibly bad cold I or, or what it is. I don't know what viruses there are now. They just seem, you know, to be jihugid. So anyway, um, let's go ahead though and take a look at uh, uh, the esoteric influences for today. Uh, for Monday, um, friendships are important, are an important part of your life, and you may be called upon to offer assistance to someone who's struggling today. You're known to express yourself intuitively, and you are respected for the insights you offer. Use that gift to help that person focus on the truth of the matter so that choices are made in full clarity. Be certain that all factors are discussed and help that individual to understand the frustr that frustrations are normal and not all choices guarantee success. However, a successful outcome is possible as long as a balanced approach is maintained. So um, I'm just going to leave this right here just in case. I went ahead. I didn't pull the runes yet. Um, I went ahead, though, and I, I drew the cards. But I'll go ahead and let me do the rune here. Um, I've got my tea here with me, my Breathe Easy Tea. You know, it tends to spool me up, so, so I don't know, you know. I try not to take stuff that, that does that, but Breathe Easy really works. So, you know, if you've never tried it, you know, then I, I, I definitely recommend it. Uh, this is Perthro, uh, so it's about fate. <laughs> And, uh, and, you know, whatever plague I have. Uh, anyway, I, this is about fate. And uh, it's also about the womb. It's chance. It's, the, it's thought to be the cup from which dice are, are, are tossed or, or the runes are cast. Um, but basically, it talks about the Norn's ability to uh, control the fate of men. And, and I find it, I, I realize that, that, you know, generally men is used for everyone, but I, I kind of don't like that. So sometimes I, I suggest that they're clearly not talking about women here, which, you know, so, um, anyway, <laughs> But it, it's open this way to birth. Uh, this way is a cauldron. This way is to death. Um, but it, how are you going to take control of your, uh, of your own fate, of your own um, opportunities, of, of how are you going to, are you going to, are you going to give that way away to somebody else uh, let the, and let that person or a group of people control what you do? Or are you going to be the one that makes that decision? And, and, and how are you going to do that? Is it going to be, again, as we talk about all the time and as above, so below, are we going to let spirit uh, and the soul control that? Uh, let that let that come from that type of vibration or are you going to let the lower vibrational ego control that uh, and I think that you're going to see when the I tell you what the cards are it's kind of interesting that I pulled that um, let me go here though and, and throw down the elemental runes for the geomancy rune here we'll put them in the order of fire air water and earth Oh, well, okay, so this is Carcer. Now, Carcer is considered, oh, there it is, looks like a little little cage. Uh, so again, it, it's really kind of the perfect one, the below side of, of, of Perthro. Uh, because are, are you controlled by circumstances? Are you getting in the way of your own progress? Uh, are you... 
um, trying to control other people. Um, but, but that's what carcer is. It's almost, it's, it's akin to Rubius in that it's kind of a misuse of force in a way. Um, but it's one where you, you can also be constrained by circumstances. That's another one. Uh, some, and, and on a really positive way to look at this is that something's coming to completion. And so maybe the decision you make concerning your fate today and over the next couple of days, uh, is really about, how hampered are you going to be by your own choices? And that brings us to the first card, the devil. 15th card of the major arcana gives you a six numerology. So shared path, it's assistance, it's, uh, it can be health. Um, but here we have uh, the inverted pentagram, which simply means there's the pentagram. And it, here you have it. The point is going to spirit here. It's just going down to ego. Here you have the little devil figure, goat headed figure with the wings, uh, perched on a black uh, post with a ring on it. You've got two uh, uh, chains attached to the woman and the man. They've got cute little horns on. Uh, he's He's got in the same as above, so below stance that the magician has only Instead of a scroll going to heaven, you have a lighted torch going to, to earth or to the ego. Uh, and here you have uh, the, the little oak tail on, on the man and the little pomegranate or strawberry. I, I'm not sure what they I think it's pomegranate, but maybe not. It looks more like a strawberry um, tail on the woman. But basically what the devil is all about is it's an egoic focus. It's being a slave to desire. Um, it's, it's a negative influence. It's greed. It's self-imprisonment. Um, it's, it's about control. And again, being slave to desire instead of being able to, uh, because see they're, they're chained here, which indicates the whole, you know, I'm, I'm caught up in all of this. So it's caught up in ego. Um, the devil, I don't believe the devil figure actually exists. I think the devil really is just, is just the, uh, uh, expression of ego and what that can do. It's a service to self approach versus a, a higher level, higher vibrational service to others approach. And so it really shows the, 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 the ego side of things and how it can really keep you grounded in something that you can't get out of. And it's all about you and all of that. So, and again, if we're talking about Perthro and Carcer, um, our fate ends up being determined by some really selfish desires or getting caught up in the selfish desires of other people and being held to that, you know, where, you know, it's like people that are in cults there, they can't get out of it without, you know, having extensive therapy and deprogramming because they get caught up in that, that agreement between themselves and that, that charismatic figure or figures that then control that group of people. It, it's that kind of, of experience. And you're really giving away your, your fate and your choices to something else or someone else or to the lower vibrational ego that really doesn't have anyone's best interests at heart. So then we make a choice, don't we? With, I mean, the, the easiest way to look at this is a journey over water in the wintertime. <laughs> but the idea of winter is that there's some downtime and you can think about things and you can make some decisions without feeling pressured to do so. And uh, especially when you're talking about Perthro and Carcer, you know, are, are you maybe beginning to realize that, that the whole devil angle is just not the way to go here? And instead, you know, we see, I, I interpret this to be a family, uh, but it could simply be the, the, the guy that ferries the mother and the child across the water. But basically, you're looking at uh, uh, the balance of will and emotion, uh, the, a new route that's taken, a new direction of a new type of thinking, a new perceptions, a soul journey. So overall, I tend to look at this six card. And again, same numerology as this, um, as empowering yourself to, to 
decide to shift your perception to something better, to something that's more balanced, that's more fair, that that's more that's going to actually do better for you. You you then command your own fate basically because that's what's happening here. They've commanded their own fate. They've decided we we we're going to do this. And through a shift of perception, they're in this period of genesis you know, for when the spring comes and everything begins growing again, right? So it's this winter time may seem, you know, cold and dark and, you know, vacant and all of that. But in truth, it gives you that time to rethink things and to re it's like retrograde periods for different planets. It gives you time to rethink how you see things. And maybe once you do that, then you're ready to take that leap of faith and go across that, that icy water and, and move into something that's a little bit more, uh, um, op has more opportunity and, and to do better things for yourself bringing us then to the 11th card of the major arcana we have justice and again the as above so below kind of uh stance with lady justice as she sits same with again with a magician uh and and here she's holding the sword up to spirit in her right hand while she holds the scales of justice in her left she wears a crown. You see the red drape. You see the two pillars denoting balance. But the idea behind justice, now this can be uh, having to do with legal issues, um, but it can have to do with equilibrium and decisions and fairness and balanced reason. Uh, again, justice. And when you look at them together, you see this one is more service to self and this one is more service to others. And again, you know, maybe there were some issues in your life where you have a family, but maybe your attention was taken elsewhere. And you realize that if the family is going to succeed and survive and all of that and be united and grow and develop and we do something wonderful for our children, <coughs> excuse me, uh, then then you make that that you, you shift that perception towards something that can include other people uh, and you get all of your ducks in a row like they have here all of your ideas, all of your, your, because, because swords is about the air element. And so that's the intellect. It's the mental acuity. And again, it's also about reason and justice and, and fairness, like with justice. Um, but again, you let go of being a slave to your own desire. And now you're going to move on with your family to something that's going to be a better balance for the whole, for the whole group. Um, Three, yeah. See, here you'll have, here you'll have uh, a three energy for the two. That's mind, body, spirit, balance. That's creativity. That's for devil and the six of, of swords. But we're going to leave the eleven alone because that's a master number. And the and the master number eleven is about enlightenment and spirituality and awakening. So, whatever shift in in, in perception you have here. Uh, that that you've allowed to take place, that you've you, that you've intended to take place, because I have a feeling this just it means you've gone as far as you can go, and now you've got to go do something else, right? That it's that the ego side of things is just not working out for you, and there's no way to show empathy to others. There's no way to to be of assistance to others. And again, if that means family. You know, again, maybe there's a shift in your perception uh, where you're able to now see that and put aside the, the, the issues of ego with Perthro, control your fate a little bit better and the fate of your family, let go of any restrictions within and feeling like you can't escape this because you can. It's just a matter of turning your attention to, and to another set of beliefs it's really, you know, these things are not necessarily carved in stone. They can be changed. And again, who decides that? Are you going to decide it or are you going to give that over to someone else who really doesn't have your best interests at heart, right? And so you let go of the inner constraint with Carcer. 
and you move into a higher level, an, an above side from the below side, uh, you move into a higher level of awareness, a higher level of vibration, and and you 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 start looking at things from a bigger perspective. And in that regard, see, then then what the sky's kind of the limit at that point as to what can happen for you and your family. So that's not bad for a Monday. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here because I'm starting to lose my voice and I need to drink more tea. And so I can do Thursday's uh, uh, video as well today. I'm going to give myself a little bit of time, though, to rest my voice and, you know, maybe breathe in some more eucalyptus uh, uh, aromatherapy stuff. I've got a diffuser going. I, I ran it for about 15 minutes this morning and, and uh, oh, my poor husband, he just, I said, well, honey, it's a, it, cause he's coughing up everything, right? And I said, but you know, that's what eucalyptus does. It's like an expectorant. It has that effect. And, and he, and I, I, I think he gave me a dirty look, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're, we're both trying to, to get through this as best we can. And, and I hope we're on the mend. I hope I don't have to like find a window next week to do a whole week, the, do the two, two uh, videos for the week. But if I do, I do. I, you know, we haven't been sick like this since the first quarter of 2020 when we might have had COVID. Um, it kind of acted like it, but it kind of didn't. Uh, but it was in the early stages of it, so I don't know. I mean, it could have just been a flu that hung on and hung on and hung on. But I know for me, it was two months and one week, and my husband, it was three weeks. So, and and that was different than how we feel now. Um, but, you know, there's only, we're spraying Lysol in the house, and, you know, I'd smudge it, but then there'd be smoke, and I can't have, and then we can't breathe, so... Anyway, and plus there's smoke outside. So that's, we're still trying to, you know, get everything in. It's going to freeze tonight. And so we're doing the last ditch effort. I think he's out there picking peppers, Hungarian paprika. Uh, and I think we'll have one more batch to do in the smoker. And, and, uh, cause we make smoked paprika. I mean, I finally found Hungarian paprika seeds and it was at Baker Creek. It was year before last. They didn't have them in the catalog this year. So thank the goddess that I save seeds because that's what we used and uh uh and they're just great you know and and I've I've always wanted to do my own my own smoked paprikas because everybody says it's so much better than what you buy in the store and so so of course that entailed buying a smoker and so which we've done some other stuff in too we've used it for other things too but that's been a fun thing to have if you don't have one um you know, it's, it's kind of cool. So we smoke the, uh, uh, cayenne peppers and the Thai peppers right along with it. And it just, I don't know, it just adds a little extra oomph to whatever you're using in it. And I use that Hungarian paprika and everything. So anyway, that's what we're doing this weekend and just kind of getting everything together. And the, the very last of the garden, I think we have one more I think there are some more beans, believe it or not, to pick out there in in the bean house, and so, so we'll I'll have him do that because he's doing better than I am, and uh, so who knows, maybe by uh, maybe by Samhain, by Halloween, I'll be doing just fine, and life will go back to normal. Uh, one thing I wanted to, to say: there's been a few times of late where the blog's been down. Um, my uh, web hosting service ha has had some trouble. It was down for a little bit yesterday, um, but they get it back up and going. They just have way too much traffic on one of the servers or something that, that I'm on. Uh, so that's the problem, I guess. And uh, so if you go over there and it's not loading, that's why. Check out Stepping Aside's Facebook page. And if I've noticed that I've been notified, then because uh, I get notified by email, if I happen to notice that, then I'll write a little thing uh, there on the Facebook page for Stepping Aside. And uh, so you'll know what's going on. Um, so I, I haven't gotten rid of it. You know, it's, it's just sometimes there's issues. You know, everyone has them, I guess. So thanks for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and are healthy and, and all of that and not plague ridden like I am. And uh, 
you know, join us again on, on, on for Thursday's edition of As Above, So Below. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another. And blessed be.